of the tiny house build. Um, I've kind of put in some of these little blue boxes, um, also known as single gang electrical boxes. Um, so what I've got to do today, is I'm gonna to try to install electrical sub panel. I'm gonna to try to install the water lines for the shower. Uh, shower head and all that jazz it'll go right here see all the water lines coming in I'm gonna try to put it in here somewhere and uh, I don't know sometimes my ambitions are a little higher than what I'm able to accomplish but we'll see where I get from here never seen one of these at least not already installed take everything apart Just go right on the wall. It's actually fairly easy. getting a roof on this thing so i got everything i need i think got my side pouch full of blackhead hex screws got my drill magnetic quarter inch bit got another side pouch here puts my drill in it kind of clips on here tape measure pencil that's about all i need not doing anything real fancy just got to get this thing up here so that when the rain comes it's dried in So I'm actually super nervous of and scared of heights. When it comes to a roofing job, I'm super cautious. I do not want to fall off a roof ever. I have this tiny house sitting next to me. So you can see exactly what happens here. 
those pieces of trim that go over the edges here is called a gable trim edge. Some people call it a corner edge, depending on if you're doing siding or not. And then that thing going across that way is the ridge cap. It looks pretty clean and tidy when it's all said and done. So if you're wondering how far apart I'm putting these screws, I'm putting them on every rib, just before every rib uh, at the lips. And then the spacing up and down, the manufacturer calls for 18 to 24 inches apart. Because this is a tiny house and it's gonna be taken down the road, I kind of generally go a little bit closer together than that. Uh, I try to do 16 on center. I've done 12 inches on center. Um, and that's just because I don't want it to come apart. Doesn't look very high up when you look at a camera, but <laughs> but it kind of feels like it's pretty high. The entire roof is on, except for the ridge cap. I've got Wyatt cutting it open and he's gonna send it up here. I'm gonna cut it to length and attach it and away we go. The roof is done. And the other pieces, the gable end trims, they go on after the siding gets on. Um, make sure that the water goes the direction you want it to go. You don't want it going behind your siding. Our windows are coming in today for the tiny house, so super excited. I'm gonna show you first uh, how we prep to get the windows in. A um, Little bit of work we gotta do before the windows come and actually get them installed. So let me show you what we do. Still got this house wrap on here. You gotta find your opening. And at every corner you wanna go up at an angle. Find the other corner. Sometimes it helps if you just take a big X. Opening kind of does that. So this is what would be the window seal. So what we're gonna do is on this bottom edge and along the sides, we're gonna go ahead and staple it to the seal. And then I'll show you what we're gonna do differently on the top. And this is just to make sure that water runs out and away from the home and not into the home. And the excess that's hanging inside the, the home gets cut off. Find the top edge. Come down with my X. Go to the other side, do the same thing. All right. So we got the sides and the bottom done. So now when we put that window in, the flange of the window will sit right out here. It'll get siliconed and screwed in. You can see the inside of the... It's all just... That'll be underneath your window seal area. So I'll show you what we're going to do a little bit different on the top. Because you got to think about if water ever gets behind your siding and it hits this Tyvek house wrap. What you don't want to have happen is for it to come rolling down in here and then go backwards and go into your home. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this off even with the window seal and then it gets cut up at an angle on both edges and flipped up. And I'm gonna take you around to the other side and show you. So you got both sides, the bottom going into the home. And then the top edge is taped up. 
So after you install the window, that flap then gets untaped and then flaps back down over the flange of the window. One last little step before we get started. Uh, the common area for water to get trapped and start running in towards the inside of the home and the, the seal of the window uh, is right down here at the bottom corners. So typically what we have is a stretchy tape uh, goes all the way on the bottom edge of the window seal and it gets stretched around to the corner on the corners and it gets like out here in this area and it's it's super flexible so you could pull it all the way and it makes a nice little crease right there uh, without having any penetration but what i have today is some zip system flashing tape which is super waterproof anyways we've got about three different layers going here uh, i've got it wrapped around you can see there's no penetrations there in the corner that's like the worst spot for water anywhere you have water that might get trapped and start leaking in you don't want rot in your interior of your home you never know it until all of a sudden the home starts falling apart you get water spots on the inside of your drywall or uh, at your floorboards so we like to make sure that all water passes on the outside of the home kind of gets away from the home you never want it going inside all right so i actually happen to have some of that stretchy tape i was talking about uh, this is what it looks like. I'll give you uh, a little visual of what it looks like when you wrap it around the corners as opposed to that zip system tape uh, that we did on the other one. All right, I'm going to show you how to put this on here. Well, like I said before, a lot of times this goes all the way across the bottom edge of the window seal. I don't have enough for that today, but really where the issue is is these corners, not the bottom of the window. So super stretchy, super sticky. You want to do go about halfway in the window seal. And go around like that. Press it into the corners. Make sure it's nice and stuck. And then this bottom, this corner here, I like to stretch it out before I stick the other sides. big window in that thing was a heavy son of a gun so what we do is we run silicone you see all this white goopy stuff we run it all the way on the top edge and down the both sides never put any silicone on the bottom flange uh, in case water gets behind the flange uh, it needs a way for water to get out so leave the silicone out of this bottom edge and then we use pan head screws all the way around the entire window. Uh, it, just being a tiny house, a lot of people will use uh, roofing nails to put their windows in, but we like to use the pan head screws on and make sure that thing never ever jiggles loose, never comes out. Not that it would, but you never know. So the next step, uh, we gotta put some flashing tape along these edges. Again, it never goes on this bottom edge. This flashing tape here will go on both sides first. It'll tape to the flange and to the Tyvek or the house wrap. And then the final step would be to flip that house wrap down and tape along the top edge, passing over the two side tapes and the entire uh, top of the window. So everything is made to flow down and out. From the inside, this is what the window looks like. Down here at the bottom edge, when we first put it in the seal, put a few shims in, keeps it up off of the seal, again, for water to run out if it ever gets trapped behind anything and allows water to run out here this is that polykin shadow plastic uh, it's a flashing tape you see all the way up we run all of our stuff in a way that the water runs out and that's how we put it in windows 
We were able to accomplish so many things in such a short amount of time. With only three days, we were able to wire the entire tiny house, get all the plumbing done, install all the windows and the roof. With bad weather on the horizon, we decided to call it a week and work on some other projects we have going. We are so excited to continue on this tiny house journey, so stay tuned for the next video to see the next step in the process. Follow our journey on Instagram, and we would love it if you would subscribe and hit the thumbs up if you like our videos.